Good morning, everyone. My name is Daniel Paolo. I'm coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. I to start out this morning with the scripture reading from John chapter 11, verses 1 through 16. Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who anointed the Lord with perfume and wiped his feet with her hair. Her brother Lazarus was ill. So the sister sent a message to Jesus, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness does not lead to death, rather it is for God's glory, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Accordingly, through, though Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, after having heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to the disciples, Let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just now trying to stone you, and are you going there again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours of daylight? Those who walk during the day do not stumble, because they see the light of this world. But those who walk at night stumble, because the light is not in them. After saying this, he told them, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to awaken him. The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will be all right. Jesus, however, had been speaking about his death, but they thought that he was referring merely to sleep. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. For your sake I am glad I was not there, so that you may believe. But let us go to him. Thomas who is called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. Please join me now in prayer. Lord, as we continue in these difficult and uncertain times with a lot of changes in our lives, we pray for parents who cannot stay home from work, but must find care for their children. They're not going back into school, as some are. God, present them with creative solutions, and those they're homeschooling as well. For those in need of regular therapies and treatments that must now be postponed still, God, help them to stay patient and positive. For business leaders making difficult decisions that affect the lives of their employees, God, give these women and men wisdom. Help them to lead self-sacrificially. For pastors and church leaders that are faced with the challenges of social distancing as we continue largely online, God, help them to creatively imagine how to pastor their congregations and love their cities well. For college and university students whose courses of study are changing, whose placements are canceled, whose graduations were and will possibly be in the future uncertain, God show them that while life is uncertain, their trust is in you. For Christians in every neighborhood, community, and city, may your Holy Spirit inspire us to pray, to give, to love, to serve, and to proclaim the gospel, that the name of Jesus Christ might be glorified around the world. We also pray for frontline health care workers, as we thank you for their vocational call to serve us always. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you have a good day today.